September is the month for moving on and moving up. Today on The Express, we'll show you how to make the most of your life and make a difference in someone else's. On today's show, I try and make it all as unique as I can. Independent fashion designers making it their way. There isn't the same person wearing the exact same dress. Playing out their dreams, the Vancouver Metropolitan Orchestra. If violin's gone, it's like a part of my life is gone. Eco ideas and free range fun at Rabbit River Egg Farm. One adorable reason, named Addie, to support the BC Children's Hospital. You can change a little person's life. What about a line this way? See that and more local expression. Welcome to the Express. I'm Johanna Ward at Ambleside Park in West Vancouver. We have a great slice of life in BC on today's show, from classical music to free-range chicken farming to a fundraiser for the BC Children's Hospital. And up first, it's a little West Coast fashion with an event designed for socially conscious sellers and shoppers. I make handmade dresses. I basically take style and comfort and put it together. This is my classic over-the-shoulder dress. This is one of my very first designs. This dress is great for summer, winter, fall. You can wear it with leggings, you can wear it with heels. I'm a local homegrown designer, and I try and make it all as unique as I can, so there isn't the same person wearing the exact same dress as you out there. This is one of my brand new designs that I've come up with for fall. It's a raglan sleeve, so it's all just one piece, super comfortable. Magda Garbaz is just one of the designers who will be at Spend on Trend, a shopping event that showcases local design. Spend on Trend is just a great way to get my name out there, and I love the fact that it's wholesale and retail. Jennifer Chow is hoping Spend on Trend gets her business noticed locally. Get my name out in Vancouver. It's popular in the US, but not for some reason in Canada yet. <laughs> Jennifer has an online business called Nostalgic Links. The majority of the cufflinks are laser cut and made from wood. The rest are more novelty based using toys such as Lego. Oh, these are so cute. Those are actually popular at Valentine's Day. A lot of men want to wear cufflinks, but think they have to dress up, and that's not necessarily true. You can actually just wear a pair of jeans, having a shirt on with cufflinks on. But Spend on Trend also has veteran vendors like Trudy Winans. It's always been a really good show for me um, when I first started. Kind of easier to have a booth and set up to meet retailers at that show um, as opposed to doing like a big trade show. I like to do pieces that are asymmetrical. I like to do things with like little details off to the side. My new collection is called Ecouture. It's reclaimed vintage materials. I try to do a lot of one of a kind or limited edition pieces. All three designers say it just makes sense to shop locally. You're going to get a unique piece, handmade. You get to meet the designer, know a little bit more about the materials that you're getting. Buying local kind of supports our economy and supports our community. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Vancouver for The Express. <laughs> The website is spendontrend.com. It runs for the whole weekend starting on Friday, September 16th. And a little tip for you, the first 25 shoppers each day receive a free styling goodie bag. Now we're going to look at the local music scene up next on The Express, meeting some of Vancouver's up-and-coming classical musicians who know all about embracing opportunity when they see it. To Esther Huang, the violin is more than just an instrument. It's her voice. I can like, I can like show all my frustration on the violin, like through my sound. The grade 11 student started playing at age three, stunning her teachers and parents by being able to recite melodies by ear. When I was in Korea, my teacher told my mom to not let me quit violin because she can see something in me. I think it's because I learned really fast and I got the setup really easily on the violin. 
Now at age 16, Esther is one of Canada's finest young musicians. In May, she was among six finalists in Alberta's Sheen Strings and Piano competition. Esther says it's a stepping stone to what she hopes is a long career as a professional musician. It's, I don't know, like, violence part of my life. And if violence has gone, it's like a part of my life is gone. Most recently, Esther's playing with this group. The Vancouver Metropolitan Orchestra, an assembly of Vancouver's top new talent in classical music. This uh, orchestra is mandated actually to uh, nurture and foster young professional musicians. Our talents have been absolutely amazing. I think Vancouver is one of the best spots to spot young talent. Heading into its ninth season, the VMO is a chance for these musicians to develop into world-class professionals. Here, industry veterans offer their guidance, ensuring audiences are treated to magical performances every show. to make, ensure that music still carries on throughout this generation. So this is why I um, really think that this orchestra is really supposed to nurture the uh, audience and the orchestra musician. As for Esther, she's a soloist for the VMO, which means come showtime, all ears are on her. I just hope that when they hear me play, that they will be inspired or they'll be touched. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. VMO musicians have gone on to play in prominent orchestras around the world, so see them while they're here. You can get their full show schedule online at vmocanada.com. You're watching The Express, and we'll show you more reasons why we're so lucky to live in the Lower Mainland, coming up. Hey, what about a line this way? After the break, how the BC Children's Hospital changed this girl's life. The doctors and the nurses all spoke to her. They didn't actually speak to us. <laughs> Why understanding the charm of Mexico means more than beautiful beaches. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.